Welcome to English Lab. This presentation is about subject verb agreement. Let's talk about the basics of subject verb agreement. Subjects can be nouns, for example, book, technique, people, happiness. They can also be pronouns, for example, it, theirs, each, all. A verb must agree with its subject. A singular verb must have a singular subject. For example, this technique seems unlikely to be useful. This technique, singular subject, seems singular verb. A plural verb must have a plural subject. For example, these techniques seem unlikely to be useful. These techniques must match with seem. Let's talk about some more rules. Sometimes there are several nouns before the verb. If you are not sure which noun the verb should agree with, you should always make the verb agree with the main part of the subject. For example, the installation of high-speed cameras on busy intersections in Sydney has caused a lot of dissatisfaction. Okay, so this one is a bit tricky. Has caused is our verb, but we have quite a lot of nouns before it. We have the installation, high-speed cameras, busy intersections, Sydney. So which verb do I agree with? Well, our entire subject is this whole part. The installation of high-speed cameras on busy intersections in Sydney. All of that is the subject. But the main part of the subject is this first part, the installation. That is the main part of the subject. The installation is what we are really talking about. We are talking about the high-speed cameras and we are talking about the busy intersections, but what we are really talking about, the core of it, is the installation. Therefore, the verb has caused must agree with the installation, which is the main part of the subject. In English, we also have collective nouns. These are nouns like committee, community, government, family, team, public, population, aristocracy, majority, and minority. Sometimes these nouns are used with a singular verb and sometimes a plural verb. To figure this out, you should ask yourself whether these words are being used to focus on the group as a single unit or focus on the group as a collection of different individuals. So all of these collective nouns refer to groups of people. If we're referring to the group as a single unit, we are going to use a singular verb. But if our focus is on the group as a collection of individuals, we are going to use a plural verb. Whether we treat collective nouns as singular or plural, it is important to be consistent. For example, the committee has submitted its proposal. Or, the committee have submitted their proposal. Either of these sentences is correct. It depends on whether you want to focus on the committee as a whole or on the committee as individuals. Both of these are correct depending on the context. Your choice of pronoun should reflect your choice of singular or plural form. Has needs to go with its, have needs to go with their. When dealing with pronouns, you should decide whether the pronoun is referring to one or more than one. Pronouns such as each, every, either, neither, and none are singular. They are always used with a singular verb. For example, None of the students in this class is capable of passing the exam. Because we have the noun students, it looks like we should be using are, but actually we're saying none of the students. Because none is a singular pronoun, we need to use it with a singular verb. Pronouns such as both, many, few, and several are plural. They are always used with a plural verb. For example, both of the students are enrolled in the same class. Both are. 
Pronouns such as some, all, any, and most are singular with an uncountable noun and plural with a plural noun. For example, most information comes from the internet. Or, most people are satisfied with their lives. So, most information, most people, it depends if it's an uncountable noun or a plural noun. Information is an uncountable noun, so I'm going to use it with the singular form of comes. Most people, well, people is a plural noun, so I'm going to use it with are, the plural verb. There are some words that are always singular, even though they end in S. This means that they are always used with a singular verb. Commonly, these are names of some specialist or discipline areas. For example, mathematics, linguistics, politics, athletics, physics. Another one of these words is news. For example, mathematics was my favorite subject in high school. Mathematics ends with an S. It looks like it might take a plural verb, but it does not. Words like evidence, knowledge, information, and research occur commonly in academic writing. These words never take a plural S. They are always singular, and the verb is therefore always singular too. For example, evidence shows that students who attend classes regularly achieve higher results. Evidence shows. Singular verb. That is the end of our subject verb agreement presentation. Please return to English Lab for more presentations.